Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So, in today's class, we'll be doing revision on lines and shapes. Okay, so we'll uh, revise this chapter in this class, and we'll see a few problems also for a quick recap. Okay, so let's start with today's class. So, first, what we learned in this chapter, lines and shapes, we studied the basic geometry. Okay, so first we study what is a point. What is a point? A point gives a position. Okay, for example, if you take a sharp pencil and make a dot on a sheet of paper, that dot that you get is called as a point. Okay, so a point is named by a capital letter. So here they've named this point with a capital letter P. Okay, so P gives you the position of this particular point. Then we have something called line segments. So what are line segments? Now same if you take uh, mark two points on a paper. Okay, name them A and B. Join these points using a ruler and pencil. Okay, so what you get now is called as a line segment. Alright, so what you get here is a line segment. So AB over here is a line segment. Okay, so a line segment is nothing but it has two end points. And you can measure its length. So the length that you get is the distance between the two points. So you denote a uh, line segment like this. So if you have named it AB, write capital AB and draw a line like this on the top. So you read this as line segment AB. Okay, let me study what is a ray. What's a ray? Line segments uh, CD in this figure is extended beyond D. So, any, so this is called a ray CD. So, if you observe the arrow at one end, it indicates that a ray can be extended to any length. So, a ray has one fixed point and we cannot measure its length because uh, the arrow represents that it can be extended beyond that, beyond D, right? So, we cannot measure its length and you ray, donate ray like this. So, we have written CD. Okay, we write C first because C is the fixed point. So, you always write the fixed point first, then write the other point. And then draw a one-sided arrow mark. So, this represents ray CD. Alright, then we studied what is a line. So, what is a line? A line is something which doesn't have any end points and you cannot measure its length. And you can extend it on both the sides. Okay, so here they have drawn a line EF. And they can extend it on both the sides. The arrows on both the sides show that it can be extended on both the sides. Okay, so you denote a line like this, EF. So you write EF and draw a double-sided arrow on top. So this is read as line EF. So this was the basics of geometry. Then we studied the types of lines. So, lines can either be straight or they can be curved, okay? So, when you stretch a, stretch a rubber band across your fingers, what happens? You will get straight lines. So, if you hold it loosely, then it forms a curved line. So, here the figure 1 represents a straight line, figure 2 represents a curved line and figure 3 here represents a straight and curved path. Okay, so these are the dotted lines. What you can see is the straight path and this is the curved line. Okay, so these are the types of lines. Then we have different types of straight lines also. So what are they? So straight lines can either be horizontal, they can be vertical or they can be slanting. So horizontal lines means sleeping lines and vertical lines are standing lines. Okay, then lines which are not either horizontal nor vertical are called as slanting lines. So if you see this, PQ is a horizontal line, RS is a vertical line and LM is a slanting line. Okay, so that was types of straight line. Then we studied what are closed figures and open figures. So we have studied about different shapes, right? Rectangles, squares, circles and so on. So these are all called as closed figures because they enclose a region within their 
boundaries so their sides are their boundaries and they are enclosing enclosing a particular area in that boundary all right so some figures are open okay they do not completely enclose a region for example these two figures shown here this figure is open at this end and this is also open over here so these are open figures and these are closed figures then we saw what are plane surfaces and curved surface so what is a plane surface when you can uh, hold it a surface is a region that you can see and touch first of all okay you cannot touch the interior part of an of the surface just the outer layer is the surface so they can be plane or curved okay when you can place your palm flat over a wall or a book okay or any other thing without bending the palm then it is called as a plane surface okay if you have to bend your fingers around an object then it will have a curved surface okay we cannot hold anything you can't hold something just with your straight palm it means that it is not a straight surface it is a curved surface then we studied the different types of shapes plane figures or 2d shapes what are 2d shapes it has length and width so we saw what's a triangle what's a rectangle sphere and circle so what's a triangle so some properties of triangles are it has three vertices what are his is nothing but corners then it has three sides and it has zero diagonal so a uh, triangle does not have any diagonal and some special features of triangle are it is a plain closed figure with three straight sides okay then coming to rectangle a rectangle has four vertices it has four corners and it has two diagonals and its opposite sides are equal so its length will be equal and its width will be equal and its diagonals are also of equal length okay it is also a plain closed figure with four straight sides then coming to square a square has four vertices it has four sides and two diagonals in a square all the four sides are equal and the diagonals are also equal in length so it is also a plain closed figure with four straight lines then coming to circle a circle doesn't have any vertices that is it doesn't have any corners it doesn't have any sides nor does it have any diagonals okay some special features of circle are it is a plain closed figure with a curved edge it has a curved edge instead of a straight edge okay so these were plain shapes then we studied what are solid shapes okay we, uh, we know that plane shapes are 2d right they have only two dimensions length and breadth but sometimes you uh, come across things which have three dimensions length breadth and thickness okay such shapes are called as 3d solid shapes so some uh, 3d shapes are cuboids and cubes okay so these are cuboids so they are uh, they have rectangular faces okay so these surfaces are called as faces then these lines that you see are called as edges okay and the point where three edges meet are called as vertex or the corners are called as vertexes so these are this is a cuboid so examples of cuboid is a toothpaste box a brick okay then coming to a cube a cube has all uh, all sides square sides okay uh, so these are the faces then this is the edge and the corners are called as the vertex so examples of solid shapes are sorry cuboid is rubik's cube dice okay then coming to sphere a sphere is a solid that has only one curved surface it doesn't have any straight surface it has only one curved surface it doesn't have any faces it doesn't have any vertices then coming to cylinder so a cylinder has two plane surfaces and one curved surface so its plane surface are in circular shape so it has two circular faces and one curved surface okay so this is the plane surface the circles gray circles that you see are the plane surfaces and this blue is the curved surface it doesn't have any vertices 
then cone a cone has one vertex at the tip then it has one curved surface this gray color is the curved surface and this pink what you see is a plane surface so it has one plane surface and one curved surface so we saw different examples of each solid shape so a cube has a example is dice ice a rubik's cube cuboid is a matchbox an aquarium or a compass box cone is ice cream cones birthday caps and then what are these these are traffic cones okay then cylinder examples of cylinder are your soft drinks cans tin cans then batteries or gas cylinders okay sphere you have uh, different planets okay then balls or oranges these are all sphere in shape then we saw what's a pyramid also right so examples of pyramid is pyramids of egypt or a tent okay so some uh, properties of solid shapes so a cuboid first number of faces it has six plane faces it has 12 straight edges it has eight vertices and plane faces are all rectangle its faces are all rectangle in shape then cube it has six plane for uh, faces okay then it has 12 straight edges it has eight vertices and it's all its faces are squares and coming to cylinder cylinder has three uh, surfaces in total two plane and one curved surface it has two curved edges it doesn't have any vertices okay it has plane faces as circles so its plane faces are circles and there is a not exact shape for the curved surface because it cannot be traced then cone cone has two surfaces one plane and one curved it has one curved edge it has one vertex and uh, its plane surface is a circle and again its curved surface you cannot trace it then sphere a sphere has one curved surface it doesn't have any edges doesn't have any vertices and again its uh, surface you cannot trace okay so this is all about lines and shapes what we have studied correct so now what we'll do is we'll see a few questions based on this okay a quick revision on what we have uh, learnt in the theoretical part so they here they have told choose straight curved or both from the drop down list for the figures have only straight lines only curved lines or both straight and curved lines respectively now there is a picture of a pumpkin this pumpkin has straight or curved lines or both it has only curved lines correct so we'll select curved then this eraser the eraser has all straight lines so this is straight then this flower lotus flower it has all curved lines correct so we'll select curved then this fish the fish has all curved lines so we'll put curved again then this watermelon the watermelon has both this is one straight line and this is a curved line so it has both straight and curved this milestone also has both straight and curved so we'll select both this arrow has again both straight and curved so we'll select both what about the gifts gifts also this bow is in curved shape and rest the gift is in straight so it is both now what about the star the star is curved and what about this pot it is curved and what about this picture of water this is also curved and the ruler is straight so this is the first exercise correct next choose line ray or line segment from the drop down list for the figures so what is this ab it has arrows on both the sides so it is a line what about this pq pq are both has end points right both are end points so it is a line segment then xy xy if you see y can be extended in one direction but x is fixed so it is a ray so our answers are right then they have told choose a correct plane shape for these shown okay so a chessboard so what shape is this chessboard in it is a square then this note 50 rupees note what is the shape of this note it is a rectangle so we'll select rectangle 
then this coin what is the shape of the coin it is a circle then what is this sign this is a triangle correct so we will select triangle and what about this it is a rectangle so we will select rectangle okay okay next next we have match each descriptions in column a to the correct plane shape in column b so a plane closed figures with three vertices which is a plane closed figure with three vertices it is a triangle so we'll match a with triangle so this is a triangle then this plane figure has the opposite sides equal and the diagonals are also equal so which plane shape has opposite sides equal and diagonals equal it is a rectangle so we'll select and match it to rectangle here then a curved closed plane figure okay so which is a curved closed plane figure it is a circle so we'll select circle then this plane figure has all its four sides equal so only square has all its four sides equal so we'll select square right so this is correct then moving on to the next one so look at the objects and choose the correct solid shape from the drop down list so this olive jar what shape it is it is in the shape of a cylinder correct so we'll choose cylinder then this rubik's cube it is of course a cube so we'll select cube then this box now all its faces are squares so it is a cube then football now football is in which shape it is sphere so we we'll select sphere then this woolen uh, balls these are also sphere in shape and what about this soap what shape is this soap in it is a cuboid so we we'll select cuboid correct so if you see okay okay so this box is not a cube it is a cuboid according to them so we we'll Okay, it's a cuboid. Then last one. Read each clue and choose the correct option from the drop-down list. So they have given some clues. So we have to select the option from this list. I have only one curved surface with no edges or vertices. So this shape has only one curved surface with no edges or surfaces. Vertices. So what is it? It's a sphere. Then I have two plane surfaces and one curved surface. So is it a cone or cylinder? Cone has only one plane surface, so it is a cylinder. Then I have six square faces. So which shape has six square faces? Cuboid or cube? Cuboid has all rectangular faces, so it is cube. Then I have twelve straight edges, and at least two faces are rectangles. Okay, it has twelve straight edges and at least two faces are rectangles. So it's a cuboid or cylinder. Cylinder doesn't have any straight edges, so it is a cuboid. Then I have one vertexes, one vertex and two surfaces, sphere or cone. Now sphere doesn't have any vertex and it has only one curved surface, so it is a cone. Okay. So this was all about the chapter lines and shapes. Okay, so this uh, was a quick revision on this chapter. All right. So I'll see you all in the next class, students. Okay, thank you.